everybody what is going on it is Dunbar snack bar here with the Kevin Millar creation in first bowl game if you didn't get a chance for me to be able to tell you a little bit about what you're gonna be expecting to see with Kevin Millar you're gonna be seeing a lot of it right here last year I did do a my player or a road to the show equivalent with Chris Rose from intentional talk now we're gonna be making his partner in crime Kevin Millar now, I'm going to be going uh, with a knuckleball as my primary pitch. I thought it would be kind of cool to have a knuckleball pitcher. Last year, I was focusing more on velocity and some good breaking balls, but nope, not this time. Just an awesome knuckleball. R.A. Dickey really showed last year just how awesome it can be uh, to have a good knuckleball pitcher on your team and what you can do if you use it effectively, as he did win the Cy Young Award in the National League. All right, so here I am just picking some attributes. I want to make sure I get my stamina up as far as I can because when it comes to me pitching, if I can you know, stay in the game a little bit longer, there's a better chance for me to go ahead and pick up some more points, which I can then go ahead and use to you know, train and make myself even better. So knuckleball, of course, is what I went with first. Then I'm going with the four-seamer. And then my slider, I'm using that one last. The reason why I decided to go with the slider for pitch number three was because I wanted a pitch that will likely cause an opposing batter to go ahead and hit the ball on the ground just to get some easy ground ball out. So Kevin Millar, 1-5, did play for the Boston Red Sox. That's actually how I first came to know Kevin Millar. So I just felt like it's right to go ahead and put him on the Red Sox. Now I am kind of worried that he's not going to be able to stay on the Red Sox for that long because if you saw just a second ago here when I was picking the teams, say the starting pitchers, the Red Sox are pretty deep. So I really have to make a name for myself if I'm wanting to stay with the Red Sox. I would not be surprised if I do end up getting traded down the road. So we do have this opening presentation here just saying, hey, Kevin Millar is making his double A debut. Almost the exact same thing as the Lou Gehrig's, uh, you know, video here that was put up actually yesterday. I decided to redo the audio. So my bad and it's actually kind of interesting because i'm going up against the same team portland is the team that uh, is the double a affiliate of the boston red sox and trenton is the double a affiliate for the new york yankees we played against these two teams with uh luke gehrig now we're doing the same thing here in the eastern league with kevin millar so it's kind of cool all right, so for those of you uh, who did not get a chance to be able to watch the last Chris Rose video, there was one thing that I did want to go ahead and just kind of throw out to everybody. I always take a look at these videos here where I am playing as the pitcher. It gives me an opportunity to do something a little bit different because the uh, gameplay can get pretty repetitive, especially from a commentary standpoint. I can only say he swings and misses so many times before it kind of gets old for me. So. What I used to do with Chris Rose is I used to do a lot of Q&A type things. And I'd like to do the same thing here with uh, Kevin Millar every once in a while. But I don't want to do it every single time. So I want to get your guys' feedback on what you would like to see when I go ahead and I am playing as Kevin Millar. Just something different from a commentary standpoint. All right. So make sure you comment below with that. Gosh, he connects with the knuckleball. And things are not looking pretty good here for Kevin Millar at the beginning of the game as we already have a couple hits. Both runners are going to be in scoring position, so I'm going to have to try and find something here to be able to stop Trenton from getting a lot of hits. As you can see, that minus four means I'm losing training points. I don't want to be bleeding those. I want to be acquiring those as much as I can. That knuckleball. <sighs> that one went foul. Honestly, it was not by much, though. I'm kind of worried about that. That one gets popped straight up. So things are looking good now because I'm forcing the computer to make contact with it, but it's not staying in play. And now with a one to count, I really could throw something nasty here to go ahead and get uh, the K here if I can do this right. So I'm going to try the knuckleball. It connects with that one. Another foul right there. So what should I go with? I, I think I'll go with the knuckleball one more time. There we go, get the K. So what is cool about that is this is Kevin Millar's first strikeout in professional baseball. More specifically, double A ball. It's kind of cool you guys got a chance to see that. All right, so 
We are still in the first inning. 0-2 count here. Doing a pretty good job of getting ahead. That one is going to get past the catcher. It's going to head home. Throws it over to me, and somehow I apply the tag, but that is a lot of action, actually, for me here from a pitching standpoint. So that's cool that Kevin Millar is already making this interesting. And that was the end of inning number one. All right, so another thing that I did want to mention for you guys here as well is the contest that is going on. I mentioned this in Lou Gehrig. I want to make sure I give you guys a chance with this as well. Kind of the same rules as the last time I did a, a contest on here. So what I'm going to do is on these Road to the Show series, uh, when I go ahead and post the um, – Braves franchise and then also the Diamond Dynasty on those four videos I want to give you a chance to be able to win a t-shirt uh, a Dunbar snack bar t-shirt to be more specific all you have to do it's a piece of cake as you're watching this if you like the video just go ahead and hit the share button comment that you have shared it as well and whichever one of the four videos has the most shares I'm gonna pick somebody from random out of that so you really have uh, a chance to be able to win no matter what if you go ahead and you like this video. The Lou Gehrig one, the Diamond Dynasty when I put that one up, and also the Atlanta Braves franchise, the opening game. So you got four chances to be able to win. Just make sure you go ahead and you share them and you comment because if you don't comment, I won't be able to go ahead and pick you out at random. Cool? All right. I just think it's awesome for me to be able to go ahead and give something away to you guys as a thank you and you know, as a way to be able to celebrate MLB 13, the show coming on the channel, you know, full time. I've been very, very impressed with this game. I've had a lot of people tweet me who've just been saying, hey, Dunbar, what do you think, 2K13 or the show? Me personally, you know, since uh, I've been playing this a little bit, I would definitely say go with MLB 13, the show, if you have a choice. I know with the Xbox, you don't, um, and that is very unfortunate. Trust me, I do feel bad for those of you uh, who do not have a chance to be able to play, you know, the show. But for those of you who do have a chance, uh, who do have the choice, I definitely do recommend this. I've been very pleased with things because I was playing MLB 12, the show, for a little bit. Got used to that one. And in MLB 13, I've kind of noticed things are a little bit easier uh, when it comes to hitting, which was a big frustration that I had before. In fact, every year when I start a baseball game, I always play Red Sox versus Yankees, and I just switch back and forth. So this year, you know, I'm playing as the Yankees uh, in that rivalry. And I kind of realized right there just how crazy hitting could end up being. And I'm going to go ahead and post it, even though it does get kind of ridiculous at some points. But, hey, it's all right. Another strikeout for Millar right there. Now we're in the top of the fourth, 2-2 two -two count. So we're going through this pretty well. Portland's up one to nothing. I'm gonna head over to first, playing smart, and there we go. Honestly, I've been pretty proud here as uh, to my fielding abilities. You know, with that pass ball, I sprint towards home and I'm able to cover the base. That one, I head over to first. So I'm doing a good job. I'm playing smart. I really didn't play as a pitcher that much when I was growing up. So for me to be thinking and to have these type of reactions once the ball is on the ground. I'm pretty pleased with that and proud of myself. Knuckleball, one more time. Computer's able to make a connection with that one and to get a base hit. It's going to put runners on first and third. Slides in there in a way that probably was not that great because he ends up getting injured over there at third base. All right, so still top of the fourth. He's heading over to second. The throw, not going to be in time. He is safe. Again, runners. Scoring position here for Kevin Millar, but we are up four to nothing. We're able to get out of that jam here. Third baseman dives, not able to come up with it. And what is frustrating about this one is it goes against me. See how I lost three training points right there. Even though I got the ball on the ground, I did my job. The third baseman just did a terrible job, and I pay the price. Another one that goes into right field down the line. It seems to be a favorite. Runners on first and third again. It's almost like deja vu in many respects because with that slide, well, besides losing training points, somebody else gets injured. Now, the previous player, it didn't seem like it was too bad. I mean, he was kind of limping a little bit, wasn't on the ground like him, so Thomas Neal is going to come in as a pinch runner for Trenton. 
So I don't like seeing that, but I am kind of surprised that I do get to see an injury. That's something I never thought that I was going to expect. And that's another thing that's kind of been a pleasant surprise about this is a lot of the realism in here and those unexpected things that you would not think about seeing in a baseball game. Uh, I, by baseball game, I mean like a video game. You know, somebody getting injured like that and having an appropriate animation for it, stuff like that. So the more I play this game, the more I love it and the more I'm excited for this to be on the channel on a regular basis. So, all right, top of five, 02 count. Let's see what I go with right here. Ooh, the slider ends up getting strike three. I'm surprised with the amount of strikeouts that I've been able to have with Kevin Millar uh, thus far. I was thinking maybe one, two. I didn't expect to stay in any longer than three innings. The throw home, I am making this catcher work today. We get the out, that prevents a run from scoring. I'm doing awesome. All right, runners on first and second. This one hit on the ground to the shortstop. And we're gonna get out of that jam here as well. So I've been very fortunate. I might even say very lucky right here uh, in this game, just of all the hits that the opposing team has been able to get. Not one run has been able to come home, but the bats are working for me here. Six to nothing. I really am not worried about uh, you know, anything here with the decision. I think I'm going to come away with the win. Because if things get pretty crazy, I know that the manager is going to go ahead and pull me. And I have a lot of confidence that the bullpen is going to be able to, to halt Trenton if I start having problems. My energy is already pretty far down. That's that green bar on the bottom right, which you'll see here in just a second once I get the ball back and I have to go ahead and choose the pitches. There we go. So confidence is really high. I credit that to all the strikeouts that I've had thus far. Uh, it would be, of course, up all the way if there were not so many hits against me. The energy is really becoming a factor here in the sixth inning. This is why I mentioned that stamina is a huge thing for me. Oh, I'm just going to go up, foul. Had a little delayed reaction to get over to first. But, um, yeah, I mean, if I hadn't gone with stamina and tried to max that out as much as I could, I may not even be in the game right now. So a strikeout like that doesn't help me out with any training points. So the knuckleball seems to be getting hit quite a bit. Computer's definitely adjusted to it. Now, I did select that I wanted to have one dominant pitch, and so I know that's why I'm getting uh, asked to throw the knuckleball quite a bit. But the four-seamer's been very effective for me in this game. I've been throwing it a lot low and inside to different batters, which has been causing them to either watch strike three or to swing and miss for strike number three as well. So I don't know if you guys have picked up on it so far, but a large amount of my strikeouts have come from that four seam. Runners on first and third. This one's going to go into left field right down the line. It looks like he's going to tag up, try and come home. The throw to home is going to be in time. We've had so many plays at the plate. It has been awesome. Three runners tagged out at home. Third baseman fails again. So that's two errors for him in this game. That's going to be something that's kind of frustrating, but I have to recognize that when I am playing in double-A, I can't have the expectations that I would have as a ma uh, you know, for major leaguers over there at third with their abilities, especially in the hot corner and fielding. So he's going to fumble that one. No throw over to first. I'm out of that one. 0-2 count here in the top of the ninth. I'm surprised I'm in here, especially since in the seventh inning, that's when I was officially listed as being tired. But that one is going to go into the gap over to the wall. It is going to be a stand-up double for Portland. Now, my team as a whole has done their job. I must say that Kevin Millar has done his job as well, making it to the ninth inning. Don't know when I'm going to go ahead and get pulled. Maybe when they go ahead and score a run, but it is 7 to nothing here. Two pitches later, that knuckleball connection one more time. Left fielder not able to get there. One run is going to score, so that is Kevin Millar's first earned run. Yeah, it's a poor batter. I understand that one here, but I'm going to get pulled. Here we go with a righty here. Let's see who ends up coming in. I want to get to know the Sea Dogs a little bit better since I know I'm going to be on this team for quite some time. So, yeah, you deserve to get some credit from the crowd right there for a tremendous performance. Honestly, a lot better like I, I had mentioned earlier. A lot better performance than I had anticipated that I was going to have. I always worry whenever I'm 
Starting off a new series and I'm playing the first game, things are gonna be bad. It didn't happen right here. So Ryan Fries is gonna come in for me. He is gonna end up finishing the game out for me. Look at that, seven strikeouts in this one. Eight and one third innings pitched. I did give up 11 hits. That was disappointing, but only one run to show for it. I'm pretty proud of that. I appreciate you guys watching Kevin Millar. More of this, of course, to come for the next year. So make sure you share the video if you want to win that Dunbar Snack Bar t-shirt. All right, you guys, I do, again, appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. Just check the description below. But you are phenomenal people. Do not ever forget that. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.